Hi, I'm Katie Toma, President and CEO of the Chico Chamber. And today I'm here with Brandon Slater, who's Vice President of Slater and Son Construction Company. And Brandon and I had a conversation um, probably about a week ago or so. And Brandon was sharing me, with me about something that he and their company are doing, their family, um, as it relates to, to helping the community. So I just thought this would be a great story and a great opportunity for Brandon to share with you what Slater and Son is doing and, and they have a challenge for us. So Brandon, welcome today. And um, I would love for you to share with us um, what you've got going. Sure, thanks Katie. Um, so we've uh, decided to open a fund at the North Valley Community Foundation um, and the fund with a hundred thousand uh, dollars and the fund, the intent of the fund or the mission statement of the fund is basically kind of two, two pronged or uh, the intent would be to find businesses that are critical to the character of Chico and that are struggling uh, due to the virus and, uh, and then partner them up with uh, local nonprofits that uh, are serving uh, those in our community that, that have needs. And the goal would be that every dollar out of the fund at least impacts uh, Two, you know, every dollar impacts both of those uh, those two aspects, uh, with the idea that we're using using this money to not only stimulate the economy and save some businesses, but we're also doing some good uh, for people who need need it here in our community. Well, you know, there's a couple things. I'm I'm blown away by the amount of money that that you guys are putting forth. But I know you come from a family that is generous. Um, your mom is a a longtime volunteer with the Tory Shelter. Um, your dad um, has served this community for a long time. I met him in Leadership Chico back in the mid 90s, where he was a big part of that. I know you were part of Tomorrow's Leaders Today when you were in high school. Um, that was a great program. So you come from a culture, you come from a family that gives. So tell me, tell me why, what's driving you this time to make such a large gift? You, you know, sure. So as a company, um, one of our, our core values here at Slater and Son and, um, is just to, to support the community that supports us is, is kind of how we say it. Um, and then for, for me personally, um, at the risk of sounding like a, a religious fanatic a little, it, it's really that the, you know, the Bible calls us to love our neighbors. And I really feel like that the city of Chico uh, is our neighbor and and this is um, you know God has entrusted us to some resources and I feel like as a manager of those resources uh, you know that I've been entrusted with is to use them how uh, God would want them to be used so well I think this is such a unique idea to leverage resources by spending them locally and then giving and then um, providing resources to somebody in need. So what a unique um, idea that you came up with. And so, 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 what, so tell me why you ended up going to the North Valley Community Foundation and how are they going to distribute those, how are they gonna spend that money so, and then and distribute? How, how's that gonna work? Sure, so um, starting off with the North Valley Community Foundation, um, my dad was actually on the board. So I've heard about the North Valley Community Foundation for a long time, but never had any direct interaction with them. Uh, my dad was on the board, I think for 11 years. He was president a couple times. And so I've always heard that this uh, organization was out there. Uh, and then I saw them and you know, more directly as it related to the campfire. And I saw that a lot of local companies were, were starting similar funds to this for the COVID recovery or COVID relief funds, but they were doing it for the, as part of the campfire. So that's somewhat where this idea was birthed. Um, and then just, uh, I had a Zoom meeting uh, with David and Alexa uh, a week or so ago and, and just realized very quickly that, that what they provide um, is, has so much more value than the very small fee of 1% that they charge on the one time uh, fee 
Uh, and I really felt like that uh, one of our goals is to leverage every dollar that, that is spent to get the maximum benefit. Uh, so I felt like that the North Valley Community Foundation would just be a great uh, partner for that or resource in that, just in that they're so plugged into the community. Um, just to be able to re really get the word out of the challenge that we're throwing out to the other businesses in the community of either join our fund. If you want it, you could just go on the North Valley Community uh, website and uh, add into our fund if you believe that the thing that we're doing is, uh, you know, tugs at your kind of heartstrings or go create your own fund if you've got some other vision of how, you know, your business can help uh, the community, but, um, and then also just, uh, to make the, I, I felt like they're plugged in on the nonprofit side real well. And that they'll, they'll make sure that every dollar on the nonprofit side is spent in an area that's actually needed. So. And, and they are good at that. They are good at seeing what the unmet needs are and stewarding the dollars of the donors. So, so yeah, great idea for you to take it to the experts. North Valley Community Foundation does terrific work and you know, um, we're big fans of them, um, of Alexa and of course of David Little as well. So we really appreciate Slater and Son loving Chico well and loving the businesses that employ people that um, they have vendors um, as well, those businesses that we know where that money is gonna be spent who provide jobs and you know, it's the whole supply chain, if you will. And it's um, just a great idea to leverage this contribution. So if folks are interested, they can go to the North Valley Community Foundation's website, find the link, we will provide that along with this video. Um, if you're interested in partnering with Slater and Son, if you wanna start your own fund, um, go to contact the North Valley Community Foundation and Brandon I want to have you back because and maybe we'll get Alexa on um, or David and I want to hear about some of the stories because we know that there's going to be some great stories that come of this so I look yeah. to talking with you again so if um, I, we, we've actually kind of made one connection already uh, with a group that was here in town that was um, they were uh, they were they had made the connection of the, a private business being a restaurant uh, with some transitional housing families uh, that, and basically what they did was they were buying food from a, a local restaurant and they were providing it to some, uh, some, some families that were living in these transitional houses. And so we kind of came alongside them and uh, helped them to scale, or we are in the process of, Kind of providing additional funds to that uh, what they're already doing and to help them scale it up and as we made the contribution we uh, we also made the suggestion if that the, if they can add as they give the money to the local businesses if they could encourage those local businesses or local restaurants to also then purchase uh, their food from a local farmer for say for example there's there's a lot of uh the the farmers that participate with the farmers market um and also provide a lot of their fruits and vegetables to uh restaurants that their sales are way down and so the hope would be is to add a third component to what they were they're already hitting the minimum of the two and then we kind of added the third component and that's the idea of get dollars moving and, and stimulate the economy help some folks in need. So yeah, anyways, just to give you an example of, of the type of things that we're trying to do. Well, that's great. And also it is that whole supply chain. And you know, I, I'm thinking about those families in transitional housing and getting food from restaurants, um, that the food that they're going to be getting is going to, and especially uh, with the ingredients coming from the farmer's market, what wonderful, nutritious meals that they're going to be receiving and, and um, yeah. blessing to them. So Thank you, Brandon, and uh, we'll be in touch soon to hear, um, get a report on um, some really great stories that are yet to be, yet to be told. So take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. Sounds good. Thanks, Katie.